Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a bank vouchers plugin for Minecraft. I just wanted to mention I stream every Monday and Thursday on YouTube, and I usually start between 6 and 9 p.m. Central Time. So if you're free, come stop on by. First thing we're going to do is make a command to withdraw a bank voucher. So for this, you're going to need to know how to use the Vault API, and if you don't know how to use it, I will have a link in the description and a card on screen right now linking you to a video to show you how to use that. In that video, I go through all of this code and what it all does, so I'm not going to do it again right now. All we're basically doing is making sure that the player's balance is above whatever they type in, and also that the number is valid. So the first thing we're going to do here is make sure the player's inventory is not full, because if it is full, we don't want to give them anything. So I'm going to go ahead and make a variable for the inventory because we're going to be referencing this later. And we can go ahead and just get the inventory from the player like so. I'm going to make an integer for the first empty slot in their inventory because we're going to be using this later. We want to check if first empty is equal to negative 1. And if it's true, we want to send the player a message telling them that their inventory is full. Now we're going to get into actually creating the voucher. I'm going to go ahead here and create an item stack. And I'm just going to name this voucher. Then we're going to create a new instance of an item stack that's going to be a material.paper. The next thing we want to do is get the item made up because we want to set the display name to say bank voucher and the lord contain the amount. We can set the display name of the item by using the method set display name from the item made a class. And we can set the lore using a method from that same class. And this takes an array list, so I'm going to go ahead and input that right here. And we're also going to include our currency symbol and our amount. In the video I mentioned earlier about the Vault API, I show you how to format your amount so it includes commas and two decimal places and all that kind of nice stuff. But I'm not going to be doing that today. Next thing we want to do is set the item meta to our voucher. And then we can go ahead and take the money away from the player and give them the voucher. Alright, if we're going a little fast, it's because I've covered all this stuff in previous videos, so if you've been following along, you should know all of this already. And that's all for the commands, so let's jump over into our listener. Now in the event, we want to make sure that the player is right-clicking, so we're going to check if event.getAction is equal to action.rightClickArror, or the action is equal to action right click block then we're going to make a variable for the item the event is using we're going to make sure that the type of item is paper and the item has item meta the next thing we're going to do is create a variable for our item meta and then we're going to check if meta has the lore and meta has a display name then we're going to run our code now we want to make sure that the piece of paper has the name that we set earlier so I'm going to make a variable for the name and we're going to strip the color from the items name and we're going to check if name is equal to what we said it earlier, which is bank voucher. Next, we're going to make a string variable to hold our lore, and because our lore is always going to have one item in it, we can go ahead and hard code this value to get the first index inside of the list. And make sure you strip the color from this value. Next thing we're going to be doing is getting the amount from the lore. So I'm going to go ahead and make a variable for this, and it's going to be a double. And we don't need to set a try catch statement around this because we set the value ourselves so we know for sure it's correct. And we're going to get the value from the lore. It's going to be a substring of 9 because we use 9 characters in the lore. We're using 9 because we use 9 characters in the lore before the amount. Next thing I'm going to do here is create a variable for our player. And then we are going to remove the item from their inventory. The next thing we're going to do is deposit money into the player's bank account. And then after this, we're going to send them some messages.
that's all the code done. I'll see you guys in the game. Now, as you guys can see, when I do slash withdraw any amount, I get a bank voucher with the amount that we withdrew inside of the lore. And if I right click on this, we can see we redeemed the bank voucher and we get an additional $10 to our account. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like. And if you need help, come over to my Discord. The link is down in the description. Another thing I want to mention is that I leave a link to the project file in the description of every single one of my videos. So if you need help or you just want to copy the code, the link is down there for your use. That's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Nice. The mutt's nuts, in fact.